Allmarka Aerodrome, the location of the Classic Fighters Air Show, is one of New Zealand's historic aviation sites. The aerodrome dates back to 1920, when land was set aside by the local borough for use as an airfield, and the first hangar was completed in 1921. Thereafter, the aerodrome became a regular stopping point for military aircraft passing through the region. And in 1928, the Marlborough Aero Club was formed. In 1929, the club obtained a de Havilland Gypsy Moth, which made it the first aero club in New Zealand to own and operate its own aircraft. During the 1930s, many famous aviators touched down at Ulmarka. Charles Kingsford Smith and Charles Olm used Woodburn near Ulmarka as the starting point for their return to Australia after their historic first flight of the Tasman Sea. And their aircraft, Southern Cross, again touched down at Ulmarka in 1933. Jean Batten stopped in at Ulmarka with her Percival Gull after her solo flight from England as did Ernold Clark, also in a gull, when he arrived from the UK several weeks later. Arthur Clouston and Victor Ricketts flew across the world from the UK to land at Allmarker and triumphantly returned to England to complete an 11-day round trip in a de Havilland Comet racer. In 1939, the Royal New Zealand Air Force took over the aerodrome and the field became a military station for the remainder of the Second World War. It was during this period that the landmark main hangar at the airfield was built. After the war, the Aero Club recommenced operations and increased its fleet of aircraft. Throughout the 80-year history of the airfield, numerous aircraft types have been seen on the field. And a number of these types are to be seen at the Classic Fighters Air Show, including the P-51 Mustangs, once flown by the New Zealand Territorial Air Force, and the Bristol Fighter F-2B, a type flown by the New Zealand Permanent Air Force during the 1920s. The airfield and facilities have changed little since the Second World War and this adds a timeless atmosphere to the aerodrome. This along with the growing number of warbird and vintage aircraft based here lends a unique aura to the field and promises that the Classic Fighters Airshow will become a significant event on the aviation calendar.